going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here comes your, here comes the boosters. Uh, All right, wait, no, oh, there right. we go. Holy oh, crap, oh. Keith. I met Keith, AKA Model Rockets 321 by his YouTube videos. He has a YouTube channel. I found his videos a couple of years ago and started watching and discovered he was in the Phoenix area, which is where I'm from. So we started communicating as people are wont to do on social media these days. Uh, we finally met up at, of all places, the Kennedy Space Center. We both made a trip out to Florida to watch the Artemis launch, the first attempt. Uh, we both had tickets there to watch the launch. It was scrubbed, but we both spent a few days at the at the center touring the exhibits, and we planned to meet. So we flew across country and met at a little restaurant that's on the site there and got to know one another, and we committed to flying together one of these days. So uh, we finally did. I saw a video of Keith putting together his So Long rocket. I had mine almost done. And I reached out and said, hey, Keith, we should drag race these things. Uh, he flies on a field that would support that. And he was all into it. So we set it up. Lonnie would be good. So you want F? You want any zero on the bottom or E? Well, I, I want to go, I want to send this to the moon. So, yeah, you, did you get F? No, I have E, I have F up top, but I don't have any um, zeros there. All right, that one about them. You want to fly one of these? I will give you one of these if you All want right, to do I, it. Since you're doing your, I, I'll do mine. Okay. I was really excited to see this rocket that was launched by Estes, this so long rocket. As a kid, I used to dream about flying multi-stage rockets. I looked at the Comanches in the catalog and the other multi-stagers that were in the catalogs when I was a kid always wanted to fly them, dreamed of getting them really high in the sky, but I never was able to do that. I only flew one stage rocket, so I was anxious to get a hold of this. And I built other Pro Series 2 rockets before, but uh, this one was gonna be the best one. And I totally intended to fly it as high as I possibly could. More on top too, because it don't matter, it's like, as long as it's not heavy. Okay. I'm gonna go powder right now. So wadding and then powder you're putting. Yeah, I already have, yeah, wadding then. They said five to six squares, I did. I did six. They're loose though, you know. When we set up the range, we planned to have a few people with us to make sure that we kept track of the rockets once they left the pads. Uh, Keith brought his wife and a friend of his. I brought my wife. So we had five people there watching these rockets. We had multiple cameras, uh, five sets of eyeballs. There was no way we were gonna lose track of these things. It's always fun to finally push that button after all the work that goes into building, finishing, and getting these things ready to fly. If the sky cooperates, the field, the motors, the battery, 
the wind, all the weather, uh, the people around you, if everything cooperates, all the variables that are involved in flying a model rocket, uh, and you finally put that thing in the air. I always tell people when they uh, are wondering what I do as a model rocketeer, uh, you, I tell them you put all this effort into creating these beautiful models, you set them on fire, send them up in the sky, watch them explode in the sky, and hope you get them back. <laughs> um, it was time to launch these things. You got it? Out here flying our uh, so long on 2F motors and uh, out here with my buddy Model Rockets 321. Gonna put these things in the stratosphere this morning, do a little drag race. We'll see how it goes. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here comes your, here comes the boosters. Uh, All right, wait, no, oh, there right. we go. Holy oh, crap, oh. Keith. Wow, you can't <laughs> see it. The boosters are down. All right, rocket, I, forgot, I see, I saw the pump. Okay, I can see your streamers, Keith. The video we took showed us a lot. I had a GoPro camera at the base of my rocket that picked up my flight and Keith's flight. You could see that both rockets took the same exact trajectory. fired its ejection charges at the exact same time, left a pink puff of smoke in the sky that lasted longer than the ejection charge smoke. But that was it. We did not see any sign of the rockets from that point on, other than I thought I saw a flash of Keith's orange rocket. I thought at first it was his streamer, I realize now I was just seeing the body of his rocket, and that was it. All right, still on rocket, but up. I heard his finger on the ground. I don't see my streamers. I don't see Mike's streamer. He has some flashy where they had protection here on the I think they just came in the wrong way. Mike, do you think they would be on the ground by now? Yeah, I would think so. But they're, I mean, if they are, they're way past those buildings. You think so? Yeah. Well, good thing. If you don't see the so long, that's why they named them so long. <laughs> so long, you're never going to see these again. I definitely saw your streamer. I did not see mine. So you can't be on this building? Oh, yeah. Wow. They, they cocked over way over to yeah, the east. Went, well, here's probably all that's left of my so long rocket. Man, that hit hard, of course. Just beat the crap out of it. There's a reason why they called it a so long rocket. These things took off. We did them on an, two F motors as described in the, and suggested in the directions. And they cocked over to the east hard. And you know what happens with a two-stager. If it's starting to cock over to one side and the second stage ignites, it just keeps pushing it that way. And then I never saw it again. <laughs> I had two Mylar streamers on there so I could see it flash. Uh, Keith, who's with me, had his orange ones that came with the kit. I could see those for half a second. Uh, but we lost, never did see them again. So I have a feeling they're on the other sides of those buildings there. So this is all that remains of my so long rocket. Uh, Keith also has his booster stage. We looked for those for days. Keith took his drone out and drone that area for a couple of days. I took a line of sight from the video 
and looked on Google Maps and headed in what I thought was a line of sight where I thought they might have landed and drove around that area and to no avail. It was a residential area. It probably, both of them probably ended up in the backyard somewhere. I think the nose cones of both rockets never completely came off or they did come off and the streamers never came out. I don't think they nose dived in because we saw the pink smoke. So the ejection charge happened and ejected through the top of the rocket body, but that was it. They fluttered down with the nose dangling by the shock cord, no streamer out and uh, they hit the ground somewhere, probably soft enough to fly again if we could have found them. So long indeed, aptly named rockets. Keith and I plan on having round two of the so long drag race. We have two new rockets to build. Actually, Keith contacted Estes with our sad story and they sent him two new kits. Mine's right here over my shoulder. Keith's building his and we plan on this fall sometime having drag race number two. All part of the hobby. Keith always says in his videos uh, and reminds me that that's this hobby. You build these things, you fly them, they work or they don't, you, they uh, break or they don't, you repair them or you don't have to. It's all part of the fun and I wouldn't have it any other way.